All right, uh, greetings family. This is Bomani Tayamba, and welcome to a wonderful live presentation that we're gonna be talking about tonight as far as our website, africafortheafricans.org. All right, so family, welcome to Africa for the Africans Tours and Investment. So I'm gonna show you all of the information and our documentation of what we've been doing for 15 straight years from 2006 to 2021. Right? And uh, a lot of what we're going to be talking about is just uh, a connection that's going to link you with the proper reconnection to Africa. And other people may have you know, their ways and their styles of how to do it. I'm talking about, um, I'm coming from 15 years of experience in Africa, learning this business as far as uh, tourism, as far as literally connecting you to getting your, your legal paperwork, uh, whether it's a resident permit, work permit, things like all your legal paperwork to build and things like that. So we cover a variety of things that we can get you done. Uh, we are set as Africa for the Africans for a full repatriation movement to the continent where us and our network of people are uh, there set up to literally get you connected properly and save you a lot of hassles and drama, just getting right to the point. And literally, I've learned and built this business from the ground up. As I started here in 2003, studying and learning about my African roots and culture from my brothers and sisters that uh, I organized with uh, in that time. And got a bookshelf behind me full with this, a lot of scholarly information put a lot of work into studying what I know. So I'm someone that just built this energy up from the ground up. And um, 15 years later, just uh, proud to say that uh, we didn't take any shortcuts and we literally, literally connected into a full world of just all the different things that goes on into countries like Ghana and have a lot of different people that we work with. So what I'm gonna do is just go to our website and yeah, so you can see the documentation. Mm -hmm. All right, so family, um, when you're on our website, africafortheafricans.org, uh, one of the things you're going to see is it's going to show you the 15 years of photos. And these are just photos from different years, more so the newer photos. And it's just you can just see random countries. And these random countries can range from uh, any of the seven countries that I've been on tours and also been to 10 African countries. And the countries I'm going to go through it when I explain um, my bio. But right now on the website, what you have also is a nice uh, music mix. It's mainly uh, reggae music, this um, roots and culture music that I grew up with um, listening in Jamaica. You know, I was born in the 70s and, and I lived in Jamaica all the way up to uh, the late 80s, um, literally just um, 11 years in Jamaica. And even when I moved to New York City, um, you know, you always have the reggae vibe. So these are some of the songs that um, I learned um, and heard about during my childhood in Jamaica and also in Brooklyn, New York. And then, you know, some of these are newer tunes that I added on there. And it's a combination of Love and Revolution mix. And it's just a nice sort of vibes to match all the red, black, green, and gold that you're going to see on the photos. And that's, this is just my presentation uh, of Africa tours and experience uh, to literally just connect you. And that experience is the experience that we call the journey of a lifetime. Uh, what I have set up, uh, whether you're on your mobile phone or your computer, I have everything set for the main menu. And as you uh, look to the main menu, what you're gonna see is a Black Star repatriation and Pan-African community. Now that's uh, our Pan-African community that we have. And what I have said, because uh, there's so much information, I literally want people to click on it. It tells you all about our community that we started in September of 2019. And next month is gonna make two years. We have people already building on the land. Uh, so, and we have things literally organized as far as all of the group paperwork, which is our our company that's uh, registered and, and set up in Ghana, Black Star Pan-African Community. Uh, 
And uh, along with that, uh, we have individual paperwork uh, for individuals, the individual surveys, the individual deed, things like that. Uh, we have the old land search uh, or actual uh, lease, or actual survey itself, our incorporation, uh, site map layout for the 15 and for the 57 acres phase two. So it's a lot of details in there and it shows you a lot of documentation. So anyone that's interested in, in literally this uh, land acquisition and they wanna see a certain process, we have everything laid out in there. It tells you about what the community is all about, who's allowed in there and who's not. It is a Pan-African community and we're looking to make it as strong based on Pan-Africanism as best as possible, which my thing is, finding the best of our people around the world that represent uh, different countries and just the different energy of Africa and the diaspora. And we're putting our resources together, building cooperative economics. It's that simple. And we're looking out for each other and we're making it easier for those who want to make a move to Africa, to make it with to where things are in place. And it's, uh, you know we have set up them, we have a nice little system to where we look out for people and we can get things going for you. Uh, if you just want to get up to Africa uh, and go to the motherland, uh, that's absolutely fine. Um, if you need consultation or professional uh, this advice or just have that conversation, you can reach out to me and we can literally just um, talk with you and just give you a nice uh, presentation. And if it's something that you want uh, in detail consultation or you want us to set things up for you, all of those things are available to communicate with. Uh, and what you'll see is this, when you scroll down some more, you see a WhatsApp link right here. And that WhatsApp link, uh, you can just send me a message. And there's also one on the bottom right. Um, if you just wanted to send a message and just set up a time to talk and communicate, I'm always da down for dialogue. Uh, it's uh, very important that we just give everyone the best information uh, about about living, traveling, doing business in Africa. And and then those who literally uh, are either our community members or pay for tours, uh, we can always talk about anything. But uh, I'm mainly talking about those who just literally need dedicated advice or need to just talk to somebody because they need to look at things because not everybody have the same information in this whole business. I spent 15 years in business literally to make sure that we can put energy together to where we can do business effectively in Africa. And if we're going and... You know, we run into land scams and we run into issues and we're not connecting with the right people. You know, we're not going to build what, what we're looking to build. So everything I talk about is based on my experience. And so that's one way to connect with us and just to go right to the point. And then also you have contact us uh, via email and then contact Bomani on WhatsApp. So those are the, the two links that's on the main menu. And I make it to where you can just send me a message and those things come to me uh, immediately uh, directly. Um, to where I can just give you a quick uh, response and just be as detailed as possible and just uh, let me know what you're looking to do and we can connect. So that's the main thing I want to uh, talk about. All right, so that is the Black Star Pan-African community and that's how you uh, connect with me and it's just a lot of information to go to. And there's also a playlist on our YouTube channel, uh, which if you scroll all the way to, down to the bottom, and you're also, you know, we're on YouTube, but it's said right there, YouTube link that will take you right to the main page. And then you're going to be able to see all of the playlists, all of the videos. I have over 2,750 videos, and that's for well over uh, 12 plus years. And yes, I uh, do shoot a lot of video videos. A lot of it is, is, is uh, tourism, and a lot of it is also just other things that, uh, you know, we do a conference call, networking. Um, showing off land, us just on vacation holiday, us just visiting places. It's just a combination of things that you know I cover African tours and investment. You know, you're getting tours around the country or you going around the country and sharing information, sharing that's the beauty of Africa to get people interested to see what you know you need to see versus what other people want to show you and tell you. And this is just you know my vision of what I show. And then uh, you know, the investment is, you know, we always have a business conference. Uh, it's called a Repatriation Investment Conference. So there's a lot of videos on that alone. And these are also playlists that's on the uh, YouTube uh, channel. Um, and information is broken down in playlists. That way, anyone that's looking for certain videos, they can just find a designated playlist that talks about that specific topics. Example, if you're looking for the videos that we shot with all the videos of all of our connection with different schools and everything, 
you'll see the, the several different schools that we've been working with in Ghana from uh, day one and things like that. Um, if you're looking for videos on the African Holocaust, we have videos in Elmina and Cape Coast Holocaust dungeons on there. And other ones from uh, from maybe uh, Gory Island I haven't put up yet. And maybe one or two other uh, videos I have dealing with the African Holocaust. And I'm always uh, working on the playlist and working on this, organizing all these videos to where you can just go there, check it out. But for those who are literally interested in Black Star, Pan-African community, you just click on the link while you're on YouTube. Uh, you see the playlist right there and you'll see over 80 um, videos. And these videos are based on the three times that we visited the land. So you go from seeing the land where there's nothing on there to where we're clearing it, to where we're lay laying out the land, to where houses are being built. And then we just explain the full process and there's uh, conference calls, there's presentations and things like that. Uh, all geared to where it explained to you from the beginning and when we started all the way up to now, uh, what we have accomplished and things like that. So anybody want to know any information about what we're doing and everything, I, uh, I put a lot of work into building this website, spent a lot of money on it for the purpose of sharing our craft, our work, and our dedication to uh, you know, Pan-Africanism, uh, which includes this repatriation and investing in Africa. And everything I'm doing is for my brothers and sisters an African continent and also the African diaspora. That's it. Um, you know, we just consider it that one Africa and people can say what they want to say about Africa, whether, you know, the issue, the thing of it is, if you want to see the Africa, you want it to be, you know, you have to participate in the things that's going on the, on the continent. Um, tourism has been a beautiful business to help us connect into the country of Ghana and other countries, but also it also, it has led us to a way where, we realize that we have many of us coming, trying to live and do business, and it's been better off if we put our money together, live in a community where we can put our money together even further and assist each other and also invest as a group. So everything I deal with is about group economics. Uh, when I scroll down and you see all of the group pictures that we have taken, it's just all about groups and things like that. So this is a serious, real business that I've put 15 plus years of my life into working and I've given up um, from my military career to my aviation career in the civilian world. So both aviation career in the civilian and military world and given up um, other opportunities to build three business, which I have Bomani Technology, where I do a lot of IT work and business consultation, Africa for Africans, tourism investment, and also Black Star Pan-African community. Those are businesses that we have created all dedicated to our brothers and sisters to work with black people, black companies, black operation, so we can build an elite energy of how we do business and things like that. So for those who are out there that are copying me and things like that, if you're going to copy the process and things like that, put the work in because that's the signature of what and who Bomani is, a warrior, a hard, dedicated worker. We put the work in uh, so we can all look good together as a people. Uh, so it's always a lot of... Um, negative foolishness on YouTube and just online in general. So I always let everybody know I'm about my business. I'm not into playing games with people. So you go to the site, you see prices. Uh, even when you click on the Black Star Pan African community, you want to know about the prices. Uh, the last link on there is going to say getting started. It's going to go over all of the numbers and everything. Everything is laid out. Just like when you see this, these wonderful tour packages we have set, all of them have the prices right there. And once you click on the link, it gives you full details, preparation information, uh, visa details, and all you need to know. And they're also right here on the main menu to the left. And they all this everything is titled and dates on it. Uh, so what we have is Ghana Repatriation Investment Tour we just came from. Uh, and that was uh, the end of um, uh, June. Excuse me, that was uh, May, June of 2021. Uh, so I have the old links still up there. And Senegal and the Gambia is also what we came up, came on before we uh, went to Ghana. And that was April 2021. So both of those are the, the two journeys I've taken so far. And the next journeys that we have is Tanzania, Roots and Culture, November 2021, uh, which is um, the exact date is right here, November 18th to the 29th. Ghana Repatriation Investment Tour, December 24th to January 5th. And then uh, we're back at Senegal and the Gambia, uh, April 1st to 11th, and then Ghana, uh, May 24th to June 5th. So those are just the pre-schedule of the four countries that we have on the itinerary. So now that I've named those four countries, the other country before this that we went to was um, South Africa. And because of the shutdown last year, 
South Africa wasn't able to accommodate us. So we decided to just go to Tanzania. So that's how that got on the schedule. And once you go to a beautiful country like Tanzania, you're going to literally fall in love with the country. Uh, this, you know, from, from the safari to the beautiful beaches to this incredible, vibrant city. It just, you know, it was the best comparable. And this, when we look, look at everything all together, it was just a better deal uh, to go than to even go back to South Africa. So it's still on the schedule. But uh, those, but these four and South Africa, those are the five journeys that we've had in the rotation the last few years. Uh, other country that we've been to, last we did was, it was uh, November 2017, and that was Ghana, Togo, and Benin. Uh, so Togo and Benin, country six, seven. Um, and then other countries that I've been to that I haven't done a tour uh, is Ethiopia, which um, it was my tour, but is a tour that uh, helped to work with. Um, but that's not one of our Africa for the Africans tours that I've organized fully. Uh, the other two, other two countries is Kenya and uh, Egypt. So those are the 10 countries I've been to from 2004 all the way to now. And the four countries I mentioned to you, those are the countries that, you know, my go-to countries where I've had the best experience and I feel those from the African diaspora will love that experience. So it's about serious business. And when you do this kind of business, it's a lot of organization, a lot of, you know, a lot of things that you just have to just be experienced with. Um, and you can term it up in a combination of technical administration and business administration. That's kind of what you just have to be fluent in to, to be able to do all this stuff. Uh, Cause there's a lot to keep up with, but you know, it's, um, it's for me, it's like you know, second nature and it's something that I'm dedicated to. And it's, it's not all about uh, money and things because the money that we do have in business, well, all we do is recycle it back to black owned companies and business and reinvest it in ourselves. That's like we reinvest um, uh, it also in uh, our wonderful community. And we're going to be doing things like that because what, that's what it's about, family. When you're here working um, in the diaspora in countries like America and the different ones in Europe, you definitely want to literally um, save some of your uh, money and invest it in Africa. So that's why we have uh, this wonderful opportunity to get access to land and build your investment home, be a part of a community that's going to be a business community where we're all talking about investing and doing business. We want to make you know, the, the beach that's two miles away from us look like our Negril, in, uh, Negril from Jamaica in Africa or Negril in Ghana. Uh, so those are the ways that we're looking at things. And when you put your energy together, you can literally just take it to that next level. So I'm one of them people that don't have time for foolishness online and people playing games. You know? um, like I'm telling you, family, this, the, you know, the snakes are out there. We have this one um, black devil called Unapologetic Negro Pian. And this guy is really a Negro Pian. Uh, he's basically one of those uh, agents that you send out to people who just out there doing things. Everybody that he criticizes, people who are at least even trying, I'm not going to say that they're perfect and they don't have their flaws. Just like I'm not perfect, I don't have my flaws. Uh, and I have my flaws. But the reality of it is, all of this stuff is difficult. I dare some people to even deal with just uh, a month of running this business and things like that and see if you can even handle it. Um, you're talking about dealing with this groups and groups of brothers and sisters from all over the world. And things like that, and having to just be a person that can just, you know, kind of just handle and deal with things, and just deal with different personalities and mindsets and things like that. And then you know you have to deal with the staff in the country, the the, the people that you're doing business with, the hotel, and you know the airline, and so on and so on. And it's you know I don't have a bunch of people working here. This is a this is still considered a small business, and me and my partners and the people that we work with just handle certain things, and I just you know pace myself and available throughout the day. But uh, this is, you know, this is more, of, you know, more of, more of a passion and a business all together. So it just makes it simple and I'm game for it. Um, it's uh, provided me a great opportunity to connect in different parts of Africa to do business. And with us growing, uh, the website is a representation of just all the things that we have put together and we have available. So when you go to the website, let's take your time and just scroll, scroll down and then just you know, read through and, you know, you just... You know, we also offer pack, cut, uh, custom or special packages because the groups that we have is just more of the, the black family pan-African groups that we pre-have. But uh, a group of people want to do certain things. I do work for my business partners. And if, uh, and if a group of people say, hey, they'd like to do this package at a certain time frame because uh, I'm not going to be there, 
I will just hand them over. And if you're just not part of the Pan-African family, um, I have no problem with getting information and connecting you to people in the country that is about the business because um, all of the people that I work with, they have no problem with uh, just accommodating people in their country, which is all good. Uh, as far as myself, I'm limited on who I can take and do business with. I can't, you know, I already spend enough of my time already working on things. Um, so I'm just limiting and making myself private to work with uh, a group of Pan-African energy brothers and sisters who want to travel, live and do business in Africa. Uh, that's my uh, always my target group. I uh, don't have energy to entertain a bunch of other people. It's just, uh, it's just, it's just too much for me. Um, so uh, I just stay in my lane on that, and it has been good business. I get to meet wonderful people that I've been able to build with because now I got a focused group of people, and that's why we're building this Black Star Pan African community because it is something that we have to build, um, you know, to show an energy of just uh, the, the, the works and the vision of Honorable Marcus Garvey. Kwame and Kuma, you know, my two favorite visionaries of all time that I would say that their work were the most profound work, but also unfinished. So those of us from this generation, um, uh, we're doing our best to just continue an energy of uh, the vision of just uh, black folks in Africa coming together, investing, organizing things for themselves to where we build the factories, all the things that we need and compete uh, with the, uh, the different uh, groups out there, the Asians, uh, the Arabs, uh, the Caucasians, and the others out there that are all scrambling and fighting for Africa and doing their own thing and setting up business and things like that. So what you're looking at is more than just a tour operation. Tours has been the way for us to get connected to Africa and see what we really need to fight for. You see a beautiful continent that's growing and growing, and you don't want to miss out on the investment of the continent to where we turn around one day uh, the, the continent of Africa is run and dominated by Asian and Arab groups. I mean, that's kind of what you see coming little by little, you know, and some people may have different opinions about it, but, um, you know, I don't feel right that we stay here in America and just enjoy luxury and, and, you know, gossip and judge what's going on in Africa. So I made a decision in 2004 and I've stuck with that decision to always connect and work on what, I can work on with the business people I build relationship with so we can create better opportunities for us to connect to Africa and work with our own people in Africa, on the African continent. You know, so um, if anyone hear anything about me building communities and separate myself from people and things that is foolishness, I literally have people from, you know, all over the place, black folks in our group, including people that were born on the continent of Africa, born in the Caribbean, born in different parts of America and different parts, parts of Europe. You know, it's uh, it's what it is. That's what I'm about. I'm about nothing else. So people, family, anyone who wants to know more about what we do, the best thing to do is this. You know, you can Google us, check out the website, check out all these details. And, you know, and if you're into anything that we talk about, reach out and let's talk and let's connect. If not, you know, it's all good. You can listen to the music, check out the photos, check out the documentation and see that this is not something I threw together. I put a hard work and dedication into this. Even when I first built this uh, website, um, you know, back in the days in like 2007 when, you know, web design was a little bit different. I had to learn a whole new system right here to build this website and I put the work in and I've continued to work on it and I've upgraded a few times. And, you know, it's my pride and joy to share with people, share with our brothers and sisters around the world of what we do. And once you scroll down also past uh, all of the tours and everything, you'll see some other supporting details, payment options, registration about us, which is, it tells you about our company, Africa for the Africans, our mission, our vision, and also my bio is on there. So it tells um, my, my background, where I was born at, my name, how I came with the name Bumani Tamba. All those things are right in about us. Uh, it's no secret, it's nothing hidden. Uh, it's all there to share my my brothers and sisters who are interested in connecting and doing business with me. Uh, and my favorite person of all time, Marcus Garvey. You know, I got Marcus Garvey vision there. I got a few of the, the books back there. And it's just, whenever you just think about Marcus Garvey, it was like 100 years ago. Wow. As a matter of fact, we just did this wonderful uh, Marcus Garvey celebration um, there in the Western Atlanta, um, in the back of the Shrine of the Black Madonna, uh, for those who know that area. And that was on August 14th. Um, 
Um, and that was sponsored by the UNI ACL local division, uh, 421, and uh, and other energy of uh, UNI and other energy of this uh, black people that uh, are down with um, the, you know, the vision of Marcus Garvey, you know, one of those, the most incredible person of all time. So I have, uh, when you click on that link, it, you know, it goes, I have a few excerpts uh, that I've just put together from the books and things like that. And then this, I put it on there. So it's, uh, it's nice, nice words of this. It just feel, you feel the connection as far as what we should do as a people and how we should connect together and just compete with the rest of the world. So that's why our company is called Africa for the Africans, because we are inspired by Marcus v Garvey our vision to you know look at Africa for the Africans as the same as you say Asia Asia for the Asians or, or Europe for the Europeans or just any of those phrases where all the people that we mentioned outside of us in their countries they dominate their countries you know and things like that and we can't go to their countries and do any of the things that we're doing you know and if so you know you can also just look at the, the black population of Europe and see what does black people in Europe accomplish and what do they actually have uh, so you know, and then even with a bigger population in America, you know, you're still limited. And even though you have areas that are sometimes predominantly black, 50, 60, 70, 80 percent in the south, different cities, you know, it's still the same system. So Africa for the Africans as a foundation to basically for us to connect to African, you know, connect to Africa and African people. So there's no separation division. You know, when I say Africa and African people, I'm talking about all of us. You know, some of us understand don't want to be African and don't want to be black. That's, you know, you know, you can say what you want to say and feel how you want to feel. Uh, you, you have an altercation or run into one of these folks. You're going to see how black you are. You know, so anyway, nevertheless, um, in school now, we have conference calls and links to connect to the conference calls and things like that. Um, links to connect in school supplies. And then we have this wonderful link to the great investment opportunity. Right. right, so that's a preparation guide. And then when you scroll down, um, you're going to see photos from group page or groups from 2006 to 2021, 15 years. Uh, so I'm just going to do a, a so, slow scroll. And then while I'm doing that, you can look on the left side. Um, there's a, a link right here. I have the, the Black Star Pan-African Community logo. So that link right there just takes you to all of the information also. The same thing with ordering the investment guide. And I have the Africa uh, tour books here. And these books are incredible. Once you click on them, it gives you the last uh, five countries that I've been to and the latest books uh, from each uh, country. And you can um, open it like a flip book. And it looks just like the, the copy. If I put it to the screen, it just it, the same size and everything. But also I got a bigger um, a monitor. But you can literally just uh, download the book. And you know it has my bio in there, like the Ghana one. Uh, all of them have my bio in there, but the Ghana one have also um, uh, Marcus Garvey and Kwame Nkrumah. So, uh, so those are you know so nice to read, and then just give you the full schedule and highlights of what we're doing, and then you see some previous photos from other tours and things like that. So those are the tour books, so, you know, incredible um, documentation that we put together to let people know that we're you know we're about business of what we're doing you now so those are the publications that we have i did have a, a link on there to order t-shirts and things like that but i just have to redo that uh setup to this you know to where people can just order uh, more so on demand uh because i can't keep a warehouse here uh, and things like that of t-shirts but uh so that's the only link i did remove but these wonderful t-shirts will be available soon i'll find a way to just get them available where they could be ordered and um so working on that along with a few other things. All right, so scrolling down. And then while you're scrolling down, family, you just, uh, you just see the dates and the country. And every single picture you see, you'll see me right in the picture. And that's me leading all of these groups, handling all of the technical business management, the whole system. 
And when you scroll down to the bottom of the page, you're going to see all of our information, uh, email address, um, phone numbers, and then these are all the links that's on the, um, the website. So whether you're using your phone or your computer, uh, you'll be able to see all these links. So you just look on the main menu for what you're looking for, and then just check it out. It is a lot of information, but for the most part, if you just go on there to connect on a tour, just click on the tour you're looking for, or if you're looking at the community information, you click on it, and you read from the article from the beginning all the way down. That way you have full details. So it is a detail-based website for detailed information. Uh, just like when you're looking at the Black Star Pan-African community, uh, even if you look on some of our conference call videos, or you know, you'll see presentation of all of our legal documents in the in the in the back. So I talk about these things. Uh, a lot of times we don't have the best representation to get land and to do certain business. So what I'll use is the people I build great relationship with uh, in Ghana and other countries. They're usually people that we work together for them to just assist us in certain diplomatic connections. So um, I can't say I've really had any bad experience much in uh, Ghana um, other than uh, you know dealing with these um, criminals called Garvey Town. Uh, they were literally just supposed to build us a, a black pan-African community but you know honestly this um, not everybody can just handle business. Some people just want to do business and want to do certain things and want to see us free and want to see a lot of things happen but and if you're not willing to do the work, don't waste your time. Because what you're going to do is cause people money and cause people frustration and things like that. And we're, we're in a world where when you're in business, uh, this is just not just tourism. You have to be able to accommodate people. You know? And then sometimes I have to remind people, I was like, I'm your customer. I'm a person that's supporting your business and, I'm, you know, and things like that. And that's how I look at when people communicate with me. You're looking at someone that's a, a customer, someone that's your brother and sister, someone that's doing business with you and creating an opportunity for you. Be thankful for it and do the right thing. Make sure they get what they need to get and if business don't work out. I'm one of the people who will tell you, I got cancellation and refund policies for everything. Uh, only thing I probably don't have that for is maybe some some technical services and things like that. But other than that, and they're written in stone and they're written on the, the website itself, whether it's uh, uh, Black Star Pan African Community or whether it's uh, any of the uh, Africa tours and things like that, uh, that way, Anyone who wants to commit, make sure you're clear about certain policies. That way, if you change your mind, you know what you're going to lose and you know the situation already. Uh, so that's what I advise everyone to do uh, who's in business. Make sure people make sure you have policies that are clear. That way you don't have to go into debates with people about money and things like that, which I don't ever like doing. And I don't do too much communication with that. If you have an issue with certain things and you want to refund back based on the fact that you can't make something, I just re reply to you about with the option. And then we just make it, you know, we just move forward because by then you should know what it is about because you should never just pay for a tour or land or any of those things without being clear on all policies and all things like that. So that's one thing I have is a lot of information. Anyone is more than welcome just to go to the website and check it out. Uh, whether you want to have the music on or off, you can just turn the music off on your, you know, on your computer itself and or you can jam to the music and it will change every time you change page. So. Um, you never know my, what might play, but I got some beautiful, uh, you know, uh, energy music just so you can just enjoy your presentation, enjoy, the, you know, what someone has put together for any one of our brothers and sisters that's interested in traveling, living, and doing business in Africa and, you know, and getting land and being a part of a community, uh, getting a residency, citizenship, all of those things are things that we handle to the highest level and things like that. Uh, but it's also a situation where it's you know, it's a business, so um, I don't ever know what to tell other people out there. You know, you know, sometimes I don't ever get it. You know, when I see the comments and things like that, because I'm a person that reads certain comments, um, and people want to call you names and things like that. But you know, you know, if this is so easy and things like that, and I'm just getting rich. Why don't you just see what? Why don't you get into business and things like that? I mean, we, we're we're dedicating. You know, how hard it is to us to get up and make these moves and make sure your schedule is clear and things like that. And I'm a person, as, as everyone can see, I have a child with me, my little boy, um, with me all the time since he was like two years old. He'd been to many trips with me and people can see based on the videos. Uh, so I'm not a super person, but I'm someone that understands that we have to be willing to make the sacrifice. Um, Africa was never really popular when we started doing this kind of business. And we basically spent time branding and putting it out there and building that momentum. 
I now see a new generation of people, um, some older than me, some younger than me, doing some of the same business. But it's, you know, it's and if people want to do business with certain people, that's fine. I'm not here to knock down. So I encourage for us to do business and things like that. But at the same time, too, let's do business to the highest level to where people can see that we're doing serious business because uh, you turn around and people are looking at you like you're somebody else. And I'm like, don't get me confused with what other people are doing. We have a dedication in this business to run business at a high level. And that's what I'm all about. And that's why I'm always looking for the best black folks around the world that want to connect with us and do things with us in Africa. And it just becomes a situation where it's just, honestly, family, uh, that's serious. So that's our website, Family Africa for the Africans, that org. And you can just, if you want to see more detailed view of these photos, when you click on the Facebook uh, link, um, wherever you see the Facebook uh, link, because it's all over the place. Um, you cl click on it right here, uh, right below the main menu. And uh, that will literally just uh, take you to Facebook and then you click on um, you know, photos and then albums and then you'll see albums for all the tours from 2021 20, all the way back to 2006 and maybe a few more before then uh, when I was in different countries before I started going to Ghana. And up here is where we have our newsletter. It says join mailing list. Um, it's both. It has a list of all the newsletters uh, that we sent out. And then it's a mailing list if you want to join the mailing list and things like that. So that is um, the system we use, MailChimp, uh, to do the newsletters. So uh, those who usually uh, travel me to Ghana, I usually give you the visa information, the, uh, the current newsletter, uh, previous recordings and our payment options. Uh, so those are those few emails that we send and uh, an upcoming conference call information. And then we just usually put you in a WhatsApp group. And as I talk about WhatsApp again, uh, for anyone who just wanna just click and send a message to me on WhatsApp, you, know, just, you can click on the link right here, or you can click on one down the bottom right, or I have one on the uh, main menu. Okay. Contact Bomani on WhatsApp. And uh, WhatsApp, and then um, contact us via email. So that uh, WhatsApp and uh, email is my best communication beyond that. If you have my phone number, which is right there on the website and right there available, you can uh, reach out to me or call me. Or you can send me a general text um, that you want to talk, and we go through it. I don't have um, – this is a specified serious Pan-African business, so we don't have a whole bunch of uh, people in – uh, as people may say I'm busy, which I am, I'm not that busy to talk to you know, anyone that's interested and in, want to know the real story of us connecting to Africa. Um, so that's what I have this website dedicated as because um, you know, we have a lot of misconception out there. And I tell people the best thing to do is don't be on people live stream um, like, these, like these guys out there and these other clowns out there. Literally, they just get on. YouTube and they find a random person that's progressing and connecting black people and they just run their mouth off. And then our folks of drama, instead of just someone being on the, that network, educating them, they don't do that. They just go along with the foolishness, but it's just a lot of that going on. And, um, you know, shame on all those folks doing that because we put a lot of energy along with many other people so we can build a modern day repatriation movement. So now that uh, th this movement is compromised, or being comp or always probably being compromised. Only thing I can tell individuals is do your research. The documentation never lies. You know, people are not going to stay in business as long as we have stayed in business. If we're not serious about our business and, and things like that, uh, we do a lot of diplomatic work, like like all the people I work with, all the Ghanaians I work with, from attorneys, chief, business people, um, and my folks from America that's there doing helping us do business and things like that. It's just a whole lot of people to work with, and we're at a point where we, you know, where we literally have a good energy going in Africa over the last few years, and you know, so with that energy, you know, the, the negative things are going to come also. But family, I would say shut them down out there. Uh, you know, uh, one thing about myself: ask anybody who have been to Africa with me. We deliver. You, you pay for a trip, the bus show up, everything is set. You pay for investment, you get your paperwork, you start building your house. You know, it's and it's just that real. I get right to the point with things that I'm time to waste of people, and we literally have to step our game up. And if not, 
you know, we, we you know, we slip up. You know, our children are going to be working for colonizers illegally, or you know, they may not even get the opportunity because you have other people. You know, some people don't have enough opportunities for their own people, so uh, we sort of pressure them to create jobs and opportunities for us. So that's what everything that we're doing here does. It connects us into Africa. It connects a whole lot of people together. I've been able to create a lot of business for a lot of people that I work with there in Ghana. I work, you know, I, I do my best to support my business partners there and connect them into a world to where we have something very special going on. And it took us a while to build it. Uh, you know, you don't get this far by going through some trials and tribulations. Um, at one point, I was always bringing our bus to different land sites, connecting people with different people that were building communities or I had land and things like that. And as of 2019, um, September, I stopped doing that. We decided to just organize what we need to organize for ourselves. So our journeys to Africa, um, Ghana in May and December, a lot more fruitful now that we're probably able to show a land where 60 plus of us have put our money together and have purchased 15 acres of land. And we're making payments on 57 acres. That way others that are coming can have space and then we can also expand in the business community. So I'm always proud to share that. Uh, so family, Make sure you know you read through these things, and if you want me to get you any emails, that are getting started emails with applications and all the legal documents, or send you some information also on WhatsApp with all of the you know the JPEG and PDF uh, legal documents and things like that. Uh, it's the simplest thing for me to do. Uh, just you know, send an email, and I get that to you. But uh, literally, um, we can't compromise our movement. Um, so please, family, start using your you know. You know using your energy to think about what we're dealing with and things like that. And for those who are not with the movement that we're making and the strong Pan-African energy, well, whatever you believe in as far as if you decide or believe that um, America is, you know, belongs to us, because I'm always telling people we built the entire world. So Africa is what's at stake. So why not focus on it? But for those who want to try to make uh, Europe or America better for brothers and sisters, uh, hey, and your business, I'm skipping right to the tactical strategic solution, which is us um, defending the homeland. Uh, because if we don't build you know, operations, factories, and the things that need to be built, and we don't get into you know, heavy development and investing, then other people are going to do it. So just look at it as that simple. Um, uh, the world we live in is full of opportunities. And for those who don't take advantage of it, others will. You know? uh, my family came from Jamaica. and I've been hungry for, for opportunities since I was 11 and I landed there. And I've, I've had the same level of hunger. I just want to do better, better and, you know, and build, you know, you know, build the, you know, the generational wealth in our family and our business network as, you know, we should. And one of us make sure that, um, you know, we put the work in to do it the right way. And every everybody I, I work with and, and people I connect with and the people I don't connect with, I just don't connect with them because I just not into shady business is we're going to build an empire the right way by being righteous, by working with our brothers and sisters, by making sure that we keep connected to strength and power, you know, and, um, and, you know, unfortunately weak links, you know, is our weak links, but, uh, we don't like people say we're stronger, strongest as our weakest, uh, link. And in that case, you know, we have made it clear that, you know, we want the best of our people, that have a Pan-African mind or those who want to learn and things like that. And for those who just feel like they just want to come and try to overrun us or do certain things, just, you know, we don't have time for that. So just be fruitful with your thoughts and things like that. And, um, you know, life is short, so don't spend your time wondering about what we're doing because we're going to do what we're going to do regardless of warfare and whatever the situation is. I mean, nothing's going to stop us from building um, what we need to build. Uh, um, I, obviously, you know, the things that we have going on in Ghana is no one is stopping us from coming there. The chiefs, the government, everybody that I work with, they got number love and respect for us. And if um, they thought we were building and doing something we shouldn't be doing, they wouldn't let us do it. So, uh, you know, family, that's the best I can share. Uh, so definitely want more and more of us to check out the website. I've done some touch-ups to it um, as usual to make it look nice and smooth. And those are just the the, the contact us on email and WhatsApp on the main menu and things like that. Uh, that way I can just communicate with everyone a little more efficiently, especially since I plan on sharing a lot more information because we can literally now 
help more people get uh, set up in Ghana smoother, especially since we have expanded our networks. You know, we have more attorneys that we're working with because there's a lot of legal stuff there in Ghana to get done. And um, as a, you know, and as time go along, we just keep uh, building and keep it going. All right, so I see a few comments. I'm just gonna check out some of these comments. Yes, my brother, going ham lifestyle vlog. One of my best brothers, man, been to all the five countries that I just named earlier. Ghana, Senegal, the Gambia, Tanzania, and South Africa. Yes, my brother, man. Does Ghana do dual citizenship? Uh, yes, Ghana does uh, dual citizenship. And it's just basically agreements of two countries that uh, you can have multiple uh, citizenship. So uh, we know people like that. I have friends that have um, Jamaican, American, and uh, Ghanaian passport. All right, so that's it, family. That's the link I was talking about. All right, so these are all of the uh, social links that you literally saw right there on our website. Remember, family, the best view to see our website is to literally just literally use a uh, desktop or a laptop. But um, that's fine if you need to use your phone. But when you're talking about trying to read and look to a lot of information, unfortunately, um, you, know, you need a bigger screen. Uh, so, And then we're sending you information that you need to take your time and read through and look through. So you, you, know, you want to look at you know, at least a laptop. All right, so how much is the land in the size? So the land itself is uh, $3,000 for the land. Uh, you have a $500 administrative cost, uh, which is what we use to pay our old administrative team. And also on top of that, we use it to uh, do an annual uh, clearing up the land or things like that. Uh, so that's $3,500. Uh, now the other costs are your land survey uh, for $350. And then the registration is $700. So those are the uh, costs. And then if you, um, once you're on our website, uh, let me click on the link again. Once you're on the website, you're gonna click and you're gonna look for Black South Pan-African Community on the main menu. And once you go on there, uh, you see a list of, um, you click on the link, you'll see a list of documents and you'll scroll down to the last one that say getting started and you click on it. It just break down all of the price and everything right in front of you. So just clear details. All right, so family, that was a few questions, um, a few things that was posted. Uh, so it's uh, late in the morning, so I didn't expect a lot of people to join, but wanted to at least uh, go to the uh, website um, and just let everyone know if you're looking for this, connect with us on Africa Tours Investment um, consultation, this anything you can connect with me because I have the network set up um, you know, through our business, Africa for the Africans, to get us connected properly. And I've learned from a lot of the things that people have done to where they have run into issues and problems. So us from us building this community, us doing tours the way we do tours, to us connecting and setting things up. It's all based on those things. And, it, and the end goal is to make sure that you get connected to Africa properly and then you enjoy the journey of a lifetime there on the motherland and you can invest, live, do business, retire, do all the things that you want to do. And those are things that out of anyone else that I know personally, 
uh, or just anyone I know out there in the YouTube world or whatever world, um, we have that connection and set up to do proper consultation with you, proper um, connection with you, proper setup with you, and things like that. Um, and you know, and like I mentioned, I've been taking big groups to Ghana. I've taken groups up to 42, 43, um, and things like that. So, and all that has to be planned out and organized, and that's a whole group. So, uh, with a family or individuals, it's no big deal. The main thing you have to have is the right people in the country that's going to execute and get the job done correctly and things like that. So that's also my management experiences, uh, having crews of people with, even though I'm not here uh, or not there in Ghana and I'm here, um, we still imagine to get everything done. So that's just uh, professionalism and just being know, knowing how to run business and things like that. So any help anyone need, you know, I got their backs uh, and things like that. Uh, but what we do is what we do. Um, I'm not here to sugarcoat what we're doing or I'm here to this, you know, I'm here to show people, you know, my presentation of, you know, repatriation, investing, living, doing business in Africa, all the wonderful stuff. Um, and, you know, it's a business, so it's business costs and things like that. Uh, so people like to always <laughs> challenge people like that. I was like, don't, you know, don't be mad because you're not intelligent enough to sit down and put your time into starting a business. You know, it's um, it's something that's needed in Africa. The issue that we have, I have people still coming to Africa asking me to help them find a job. And I tell them, you know, we can do some business and we can help them work with our community and things like that. But we don't have, you know, we don't have a list of jobs for anyone. Um, I have a crew of people there in Ghana and whichever country you go to. And, and you know, people refer to you. Sometimes you recruit people or whatever, but those are the people that you have and you're limited on those things. But if we put our money together now, we want to build factories, import, export business. We want to connect um, you know, West Africa to the, the Caribbean islands and, you know, and you know, connect our resources more because you're talking about two of the blackest places in the world, the Caribbean islands and West Africa, most of West Africa. You know, but uh, it's, you know, sometimes I forget about uh, Spanish-speaking folks who may not always consider themselves black. Uh, you know, some of them are black and the ones who are not black, obviously this is not black, but uh, you still have the, an incredible black energy along the entire Caribbean islands, Central and South America. Okay. All right, so yes, family, uh, greetings and just uh, excited uh, that we're in an incredible phase in 2021. All the work that we have done over the years have paid off to where, uh, we, you know, even though we're here doing setup for tours, we have people going in and out of Ghana and you know, I'm able to, you know, get people connected because we have everyone on, you know, we have all the people that we do business with on WhatsApp, uh, WhatsApp uh, from the phone to the computer. So this, it's just, you know, you just come get you one nice uh, networking system. And people may say this is not, this is um, not private and so on, or or you're, you're being monitored and things like that. You know, one thing I could tell everyone, you get up every day, you have things that are monitoring and watching you that you can't see. That's all I can say to you. Yeah. So, you know, the phones and the phones pick up audio and, and they pick up video and, you know, you drive outside and you, know, you have cameras everywhere, uh, especially the, the stoplight and things like that. So, you know, there's, you know, stop running because there's nothing you can run from. You have satellites and, you know, in space that pinpoint locations and, you know, facial recognition and things like that. So, you know, don't have time to stress those things. Our family, um, you know, we have work to do in Africa. It's, um, it's, 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 a, it's a good time now because you know, you can literally just, you know, we literally figure it out with just many things, man, especially with residency, living there, setting things up, working with the right people. I'm just always as proud to repeat those things over and over. So again, family right in the middle, uh, logo right there and you know, all our links on the left and right there 
on the main page of our website. So family, that is uh, it for me. Um, uh, it's one of those things where you have any questions, just post it. Uh, once you get a minute or a moment, uh, once this video just load to this uh, regular YouTube mode. And uh, beyond that, um, enjoy the website, enjoy the music, just enjoy the vibes. And we're going to keep you updated with many, many things. And the last thing I'm going to do is... I'm going to connect you to what I have on YouTube. And right, so family, as soon as you uh, click on YouTube, I got everything broken down in playlists. So upload, these are just all the uh, Marcus Garvey Day video. And you know, it's just a nice vibe, just seeing brothers and sisters come together in this. Uh, celebrate the, the world's greatest uh, Pan-Africanist that ever lived, that wanted to unite the black world all together. Uh, so school now, I got my multiple playlists right here. These are all of the latest journeys to Africa. Um, Ghana, May and June 2021. Senegal and Gambia, April uh, 2021. Ghana, December 2020. Tanzania, uh, November 2020. Uh, and uh, South Africa, November 2019. And scroll down some more this way, you see the Black Star repatriation and Pan-African community. Okay. And the last video, um, move, move to Ghana and build on Black Star Pan-African community. That's, it's a you know, nice uh, long video conference call that you know you just break down all the elements and when you play in the video, you'll see documents in the background, photos of us on the land and things like that. And it's a nice little playlist. Uh, it's, um, and even that videos are showing the water system that we're going to use all sustainable uh, solar system, and then there's many other videos that show us on the land, us driving to the community. Me and the chief himself is letting everybody know that me and him are accountable and responsible for everything that's going on and what we're doing in that community. And it's also shown our connection between uh, um, myself and uh, the chief. Um, myself uh, represent our African diaspora group and the chief represent uh, is our area. And we're saying that we're gonna come together, work together and just do what we need to do and, you know, and make things happen without you know, a bunch of this bureaucracy of talking. Uh, other multiple playlists, uh, these are some of my other Ghana tours. Uh, the 2019 year of return, December 2019. Um, more Ghana tours and playlists. Other uh, multiple playlists is just other countries, uh, Brazil, Ethiopia, um, African classic uh, playlists. Then you know, my favorite, uh, Africa Tours Investment Conference calls. So it's a combination of just showing people we have our presentation. And then, then let's go into some general other playlists. Um, you know, one of my other favorites down here is the Black Pan African Consciousness. We get into subjects. Some of them, some of it uh, is going to make some people just feel, you know, I don't know, it may feel uncomfortable, but you know, I get into all these conversations and we just talk dialogue, and uh, it's you know, it's nothing, nothing hardcore, just fun, education, love, excitement, and things like that. And anybody ever want to know about Garvey Town, I got the playlist there. Those are the videos that were recorded, and I'll leave them up there because I want to let people know that um, that's a part of the history of, of, of where we uh, you know, came from. Um, you know, you try to work with a group, and they're not with it. They're not willing to do the work. You organize something, and then you keep moving forward. Yeah? So it's a uh, progression. Yeah? And... And it's something that people thought that would kill us, uh, but you know it only made us stronger because this you know movement is divine. Yeah, so we have this a lot of wonderful videos and playlists all dedicated to share our energy with you know with everyone, so people can get to know who we are, and what we're about. Uh, so that's the videos right there, and 
I mentioned, uh, you know, Facebook, lots of photos and galleries. Right. All right, someone's asking for a Facebook group for the organization. Yes, the Facebook group is, do have a Facebook group. And I just got to find this, here we go, groups. All right. All right, and I'm, I'm pasting the link to our Black Star Facebook group. Right. So that's the link right there, facebook.com forward slash groups, forward slash Black Star Pan-African Community. And then for all the Ghana tours, we do have Ghana groups and they're searchable on Facebook. And I kind of just titled them, titled them as um, as best as we can. But on the website itself, once you click on newsletter, uh, on newsletter we have all of the, the group links and things like that. I, I, you know, so what I'm gonna do is I will find a place to put Now find a place to put uh, the group links. All right, so uh, that is my Facebook uh, link right here also. So if you're on the mobile, once you scroll down, you know, all of the information you see in the middle will be on it. And then everything else is just the main menu. Uh, these modules won't show, but these modules are also relative links that are on the main menu. They just, there is this you know, extra promo link to just give you access to certain things. All right, so even when you're on the Facebook, um, if you're interested in any of our tours, uh, you can just send me a message and I'll just get you the link and things like that. So those are things that I can do right there, family. And so then, other than that, family, appreciate uh, your energy. And um, once again, family, um, you can visit our website and get all of the details and all of the things that we are doing and working on. And our website, and I'll post the quick message right here. That's it right there, family. That's um, all your wonderful information on Africa Tours and Investment, and I'll be probably putting up a few other things on the site. I'm also trying to find ways to put things on there, but I'm talking about uh, we have the experience to do a multitude of things. So, and anything you need to talk about, uh, let's talk. Um, I'm telling you that's the biggest issue I have is um, people have questions and they don't want to dialogue. They rather get information from other people or gossip. But if you want the source, yeah, I'm the source. And the one that put all this work into building what we build and to be a you know, representation to get us connected properly in Africa. And I take this very, very serious. And, you know, and my best way is to shut down any misconceptions or any haters or any other drama or anything is by getting up every day and doing the work because the work is going to speak for itself and things like that. And if anybody out there that need information, Make sure you do your research. And then when you don't do your research, um, don't blame anybody else because it's not their fault. There's nothing they can do, and nothing they may can do for you. But if you get stuck in Africa and you're running into any troubles, you can always holler at me. 
Uh, we do have things that we can help people with, but there's always charges for everything that is done. Sometimes it's not from me, or for the most part, it's not from me. I just want to get you connected to good people that can help you. Uh, so there's no free, cheap, or easy way out of this. You know, uh, we have to be, we have to get up, put our resources together, put the work in, and you know that's how we make this work. Yeah, and and that's it, family. That is it. That's the sweetest way I can put it. And I just look forward to connecting with our next wonderful group of brothers and sisters going to Tanzania, November 2021, and Ghana, December 2021. Got two nice big groups of 20 plus. Uh, so looking forward to that. And uh, looking forward to just documenting our experience. Um, shoot a lot of videos, but, you know, it's not enough videos showing how uh, you know how groups of you know brothers and sisters come together and just enjoy Africa, and not having a bunch of drama and things like that, and things as being well organized and things like that. Yeah. So, so family is strong. Black fist, keep it strong, and I'm rocking the red, black, green, and gold Ghana white soccer jersey. Yeah. And this is a representation, you know, uh, this is like a perfect uh, you know, connection and you know, representation of this. My love for Ghana, my love for Africa, and my love for those of us that are going to come together and you know, build the Africa that we as a global black African people want to build to where we can solve our own problems and just keep it that simple. Um, um, there's no there's there's no help coming. We are the help. We're the ones that have to figure it out. If we don't figure it out, our children don't have anything. So keep in that mind. Uh, so, and then for those who are looking to do serious business and investment, um, um, I can always help with many things because we have enough attorneys and enough business people um, that can get the job done on the side of the business and the legal side um, because that's what you're going to need to get uh, any kind of production, anything done like that in Ghana and people like myself, I honestly just know all the right people from being there, getting involved in a lot of different things. And, you know, honestly seeing so much of my own people from the dance were coming there and messing themselves up with bad decisions and things that are people scamming them or you know, our own people from the dance were doing it to each other. I've seen a mix of all of that. So um, I've doubled up this year, I uh, spent 30 days in Ghana um, and I was there on a serious mission and I met all the people I need to meet or met all the people I needed, you know, needed to connect with and we'll formulate an incredible alliance and a credible setup to where you know, we got your back family. So hello, that's your brother um, and I'll be connecting back with you. So everyone take care and you enjoy your night. <laughs>